Well, hello, pray and share warriors. I am like one minute late. <laughs> I don't know where my day went today. I just do not. I do not. I want to talk to you about being thankful and grateful, though. And praise Jesus, I already printed those off some time back. So we're just going to go through some of these. These verses about being thankful and grateful. And I don't have my music even turned on. I don't know where today is gone. Well, it didn't start until 11 for me. But it didn't end until 2 either in the morning because we stayed up too late. It happens when you know you don't have to get up the next day. Just kind of stay up late. and Just, um, I don't really look forward to sleeping anymore because my hip hurts all night and I don't want to take Tylenol every night. I don't want to get used to that. So anyway, Ugh. that stopped. Oh, no it didn't. It's still going. Okay. I don't know why it did that. Okay. Well, anyway, hey my friend Josie, how are you? Anyway, I got my son's hair cut today, so if you see my son's hair and it looks like a professional didn't do it, it's because I did it today, but uh, he can see. He can see, so that's what's important to me. And when he messes up his hair, it like will smooth down a whole lot easier when it's shorter. Okay, so today, thankful and grateful. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. And uh, we have so many things to be thankful and grateful about. So many things that I personally take for granted. I know on my YouTube video here, I have all these um, pieces of mail that are falling. You know, just so many, so many things to be thankful and grateful about. Um, I made a list. It's in one of my other notebooks, though. I made a list one night. I might can remember my list tonight. I don't know. Anyway, so let's uh, let's jump into prayer. And um, sorry, I'm 30 minutes late, but I think I was um, doing my quiet time tonight instead of this morning. So it's just been a weird day. I don't know. I can't tell you where all my time's gone. I've been doing laundry, and I've been doing all kinds of crazy things: cutting hair, cutting nails, all that fun thing. All those fun things for church tomorrow okay well let's go ahead and pray God we just we thank you God we want to thank you for all of our many blessings that we have we want to be grateful God please help us please remind us of all the things that you do for us that we sometimes take for granted we just want to lift up some sick people to you God we just pray that you would heal their bodies that you would just help them to be strong and that you would help their families to be strong. And we just pray, God, for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. And we pray for the prodigals. We pray for the prodigals to repent and return back to you, God. And we pray for all the disasters, all the many things that are going on. Like this week, we had earthquakes. We had tsunami warnings. I don't think they came to anything, but still, people were on alert. And God, we know that you are shaking the earth. And you are trying to wake people up, God. We just pray that they will wake up and that they will look to you, God, for help. And that they will find help through other people that are being the hands and feet of Jesus and that are being the loving compassion of Jesus. And we just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. There's, um, I read about one today, a family that lost a loved one, and she doesn't look like she's very old, God. And we just know that she is with you. But we just pray for this family for peace, comfort, and strength. And we just pray for all others that have lost loved ones. It just seems like there's so many people that are dying. Um, famous and non-famous, God. 
and we just pray for their families for peace, comfort, and strength. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, my day was okay, Josie, but it was a little crazy. I don't know. I just, I just went by really fast. So I'm like 30 minutes late tonight. So I shared a song today. Um, it's a VBS song. I think it's one of the last VBS songs that we did called Thankful and Grateful. And I really, really, really like this song. So those are the two words that God woke up, woke me up with this morning um, on my mind was being thankful and grateful. And so I wanted to share this song by group. I love the lyrics. We have so much to be thankful and grateful for. God brings us a new day every day of new mercies, blessings, and new beginnings too. You know, for some people, the new day is a new beginning for them. And so I woke up with these two words on my mind, and we have all that we need and many of our wants. And Texas is nearly free from the, <laughs> from the lockdowns and all this stuff, so I'm celebrating that too. And on the 10th, no more masks are required. Some people may require them in their businesses, and that's fine. I'll, I'll wear them for as long as I'm in there, but if I can get by with it, I'm not. I do not like them. But I'm, like I said earlier this week, I have nothing against people that still want to wear masks. That is everybody's choice, and I think that's how it should be. That's really how it should have always been. Um, people could choose whether they wanted to or not. Um, so many great things happened last week. I think that was a great thing that we Texas this week is going to be a hundred percent open. I think that's a great thing. And many states are following suit. Uh, many states never did get locked down like Florida and South Dakota and they did just fine. Um, God is blessing us with beautiful days after our cold dark winter that we had you know a couple of weeks ago it was so cold so many not favorable changes in our government but we need to remember that God is in control forever he will protect us when we stay close to him and his truth we must keep moving forward with Jesus and listen to the Holy Spirit for discernment of truth and lies I miss singing these songs at VBS. I know Josie does too. We miss VBS and all the hand motions that go with VBS. Um, I wish I could, the youth are too cool for hand motions, but I really like the hand motions. I always have. I never get too old for the hand motions. I miss seeing the precious faces of the children praising Jesus. So maybe this year, I don't know. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful moving forward. To be honest, this is not my attitude every day, but I am a work in progress. I am thankful and grateful that God's mercy is new every day and His grace is infinite. I am thankful and grateful for where we live here in Texas. I am thankful and grateful for my beautiful blessings in family and friends. I am thankful and grateful for salvation through Jesus and that I know in my heart Jesus has saved me. Are you saved through Jesus today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3:16 through 21 Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through His death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite Him into your heart. Leave the old, receive the new. So the things at the bottom, I, just, I put that on there every day. I copy and paste it so I don't have to retype it and re-remember it. But I just felt like I wanted to add the ABCs so that if somebody goes, well, how, how do I call upon the Lord? Well, you know, it's pretty easy. You just do your own prayer. You don't really have to do a set prayer like I do every night. You know, you just do your own prayer. Communicate to God. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son and that He came to save the world. 
and uh, confess him. Oh, are you? Are you with the snake hunt? I'm talking to my friend Josie. Oh, she's she left. I think she went walking with her sister. Okay. Well, um, that's okay. I, we're having the snake hunt at Walnut Springs this weekend, and um, with my hip, I'm just not up to walk in any great distance at all. So I chose not to go this year. I don't really like going and seeing the snakes like I did when I was younger. They kind of creep me out these days. So I don't enjoy that and I really don't have any money that I want to spend and that's what the other part of it is. It's going to the booths and spending money and I don't want to do that either. So anyway I do want to talk to you about being thankful and grateful. So let's see what all I printed out last time we talked about this, which actually wasn't that long ago. It was, um, actually we did this at Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving that we did this, but that's okay. It never hurts to repeat things. And maybe somebody that's watching now didn't get to watch it at Thanksgiving because they were eating turkey or maybe they were tired from eating turkey because turkey makes you tired. Anyway, getting my Bible out. If you want, put in the comments what you are thankful and grateful for. Um, that would be awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see where I want to start. How about Psalms? Psalms is just, I just really like Psalms. Psalms has a lot of things, a lot of, uh, a lot of the verses about being thankful. And maybe that's why I like Psalms. And it, it seems like a lot of it glorifies God too. And a lot of it shows that God is um, our shelter and our strength. And He's just just really shows all the things that he is. All right, so let's start in Psalms. Hmm. 50. No, not 50. Sorry. Maybe I should have been a little bit more prepared, but this is just par for my day. Okay. How about Psalm 100, 1 through 5? We may just read all of Psalm 100 because I really like it. And it's only five verses, so it's very short. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Uh, enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. Be thankful unto Him, and bless His name. For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Wow, I think that is an awesome place to start. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I like that song anyway that we sing at church. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting. His mercy is new every day. In his truth endureth to all generations. And it does. There's like generations of generations of generations that have heard the truth. In our generation and the generations coming up after us. If they read the Bible, they will read the truth. 
Okay, how about Psalm 107? Let's go to Psalm 107. Now it's a little bit longer. I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. Psalm 107 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. That is a song itself. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I like that song too. I forgot to turn my music on. Uh, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy and gathered them out of the lands sorry uh, from from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way they found no city to dwell in hungry and thirsty their soul fainteth in them then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses and he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and brake their bands in asunder. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. So again, you know, we, we are a lot like the Israelites. We, we go away from God too. We tell God, hey, you know, we got this thing called life. I'm just going to go over there and I'm going to do my thing for now. And then we get in trouble and we call out to God. And he never says, too bad, you shouldn't have left. He's always forgiving and he always, always reconciles the relationship to him and restores it as if it's new as if there was another never anything broken as if we never left so i am thankful for that i'm thankful for that mercy and that infinite grace i am thankful that i am fearfully and wonderfully made i don't know whether both cameras can't see that Anyway, it's my coffee cup for tonight. And I have uh, my Child of God t-shirt on um, by the late singer Carmen that just passed away last month about the same time that Rush Limbaugh did. But I got to go and see him in concert. And my mother-in-law bought me this t-shirt when we went. And um, I really like it. I'm thankful to be thankful and grateful to be a child of God okay so let's continue okay we did 107 let's do Psalms 11824 this is another song a lot of songs out of Psalms. A lot. A lot, a lot. Because that's what Psalms was. Psalms was uh, songs, praise and worship, a lot of them. Okay. 118.24. I think I barbed a while ago, so excuse me. 118.24 says this. This is the day which the Lord hath made. 
we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, I'm going to skip back up here. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This great, this gate of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifices with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God. I will exalt thee. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I knew there's a reason why I kept reading. Wow. Kept reading because I got down to thanks. All right. Well, I think I'm going to have to go find something for my son to watch um, because he has invaded my space in here. And I'm sure you hear him. What do you want? Who cut your hair so crookedly? Oh, that was me. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I did. Okay, I will be right back. And I'm sorry, but I will be right back. Mm. All right, what do you want to watch? Mm. What's wrong with what we put on? All right, well, I'll put on Silly Songs with Larry. So hopefully that will do until we can get through. All right, sorry, I shook my whole desk trying to get up here in my spot. This is kind of my spot that I like to sit in. Okay, so we just got through with Psalms. Next ones are in the New Testament. Okay, I think the first one's in Ephesians. Ephesians 1, 16. Ephesians 1, one sixteen says, Cease not to give thanks, for you make for you. Wait a minute, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read up here. Okay, I'm going to start in 12, 112. That we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, 
in whom also after ye believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, in love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. So we need to be thankful for people. You know, that was one of my things. You know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my church family. I'm thankful for my personal family. I am thankful for uh, my friends. I'm just I'm just thankful. I'm not thankful for how bad my hair looks today, but that's okay. Uh, it will look better once I wash it. I just didn't have time today. Washing it was my plan today. That didn't happen. But that's okay. It's okay because it's, you know, this is about God's Word. This is what's important is God's Word. Not how my hair looks. That's minimal. Okay, so let's look in Ephesians 5.20. Ephesians 5.20 Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to give thanks always for all things. You know, I am thankful and grateful for all things. All things. And so on my YouTube feed over here, I have all these like letters falling all around me sometimes on my face. There's just so many, you can't even count them. You know, it's kind of like count your many blessings. Well, there's just so many, you know, there's just so many that we should be thankful for. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Hopefully my phone won't fall. Oh, I lost my, I lost my music. Maybe it will come back. This phone over here loses, this is why I bought the phone that I use, is because this phone loses connection with the internet too easily. Okay, so, hmm. Where were we? Ephesians 5.20. Yes, we need to give thanks in all things. Okay, so we did that. Um, Hebrews. Okay, well let's move to 1 Thessalonians. We may not do all these because I did all these um, in November, so we may not do all of them. I really need to go, since I started 30 minutes late, I need to go and get my son fed in a little bit. I made him spaghetti today, and uh, I like to make him spaghetti at least once a week because about, that's about the only Thing, normal kid thing that he eats is spaghetti. Okay, 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So we need to give thanks in everything. You know, James, James says to be thankful even for even for the trials that you have in your lives James let's see if we can find James okay I found James count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, and entire wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberal, liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But that is not what I was reading. I was reading 17. 
Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his, home, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. So we need to be thankful in all things. Even, even things that we don't like, like temptations and trials and um, all these things, because we're going to grow spiritually through them. And we're going to be much stronger on the other side. I'm going to have to just... Oh, there we go. I don't know why it does that, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see what else we can read here. And be thankful, and be ye thankful. Okay, let's do Colossians, which is it's back the other direction. Colossians 3 says this. Colossians 3, 15 through 20. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Okay. So again, give thanks. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. So we need to have peace. We need to have peace with one another. Because a lot of times, the lack of peace that we have with other people really doesn't account for anything important. You know, it's really usually something pretty stupid. But I want to talk to you, and this doesn't have anything, well, yeah, I am thankful and grateful about this yesterday, too. So yesterday, I went with my friend, uh, Janet, my friend Janet, that I've known for many years. Went with my friend Janet, and I picked her up, and we went and got, a, we got Seth a milkshake, and we got dipped ice cream cones. And so we went to the park the Heritage Park and we just kind of sat and talked and that doesn't have anything to do with my story except it's a preface a preface to my story and so I took Janet home and um, I was going to my house and I was turning down my street and there was a pickup right there at the stop sign and it was an elderly man with a beard and he was on the phone and I saw that he had a dog in his front seat with him too. And I didn't think anything of it. I go, dude, that's not really where we make phone calls. We don't sit at the stop sign and make phone calls, but fine, I'm going home. And so there was just something about that that really was weird. And um, when you're a Christian and you have the Holy Spirit living in you, the Holy Spirit gives you discernment about things. And so I started thinking, and my first thought was, I'm a little, I'm a little weary of this vehicle that's just down the road from my house, just sitting there. And so I thought, I'm going to sit in my car for a while. And, you know, I'll probably go in a little bit. And so I sat there, and as I sat there, because the wind was blowing yesterday, the wind kept blowing um, the tarp up that was on on the bed of his truck. Well, underneath that tarp.
tarp was a plyboard box. Like the whole bed of his pickup was this plyboard box. I mean the whole bed, the whole bed. Tailgate was up, but when the when the uh, gray tarp would blow up, I could see what this box was made out of. You know, I thought it was just stuff piled up in the back of his pickup until the wind blew and I saw that it was a looked like a box, you know, a huge box, but the whole size of his the back of his truck. And so for somebody that listens to people that do ministries for child trafficking, that really raised a red flag for me really quickly because the wind would blow that up and I would see that there was a door back there too, a little short, a short little door, you know. I couldn't tell whether it was locked or not because it wasn't that close. But it just made me really think, okay, why is this guy sitting there at the stop sign on the phone? Why is he not... I mean, we have a big old lot next to our house that he could get off of the road and could sit there. Why is he sitting right there at the stop sign? Because we don't have a lot of traffic, but we do have traffic that goes in front of our house. And so the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I just don't like this. And I thought about calling the sheriff's office, and then I thought, well, you know, that actually might be somebody picking up their kid from the school bus. And so I sat there for a little bit longer and I go, I'm just gonna go in my house. I just, you know, I'm just gonna go in my house. So I went in my house and I kept looking out my window of my door and it was still sitting there. I mean, this is like going on 10, 20, 25 minutes by now. I was still sitting there. And so about five minutes later, I heard the school bus because it goes down my street. I heard it go down and um, they let people out at that corner. Yeah. And so the school bus pulled up right behind him. And apparently it wasn't apparent because no kids got in that vehicle with this man. But what he did is he pulled farther on down the road and pulled over on a little more on the side of the road and just sat there. And so I watched all the kids get off the bus and I watched them go towards their house and nobody got in the vehicle with him so this was not a kid pickup. And so it really bothered me. So I kept watching, I kept watching and finally he left, you know, after the school bus left. Finally he left. But with what I know about human trafficking, that vehicle that he had would be perfect to abduct a kid in. And it may be innocent. This may be somebody that lives in our town. That, that might be for their dog. They might live in it. I don't know. You know, so I didn't call the sheriff's department because I thought, this might actually be somebody that lives in our town. You know, I don't know. But I woke up thinking about it this morning, and I thought, you know what? I am going to call, and if nothing else, they'll have a description of the vehicle, and I'm not going to put the description of the vehicle on here. And I said, then if something does happen in this town, then they'll at least have a description. And so I called. And um, he said, well, you should have called me yesterday. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I don't want to bother you if it was nothing. You know, so anyway, I'm on the lookout for that vehicle. And I'm going to get the license plate and get it to the sheriff's department. And I, I put something on Facebook on the going on in Glen Rose. And, uh, like I said, it may be nothing. It may be nothing, but it could be something. And so I think we need to be aware. I think that we think, because we live in such a small town, that nothing like that could happen. But nearly every morning, <laughs> 
for a while. We've had Amber Alerts going off. And so there are kids that are getting abducted in different places. So why I'm saying this is please watch your children. Don't assume that because we live in a small town or because you live in a small town that no one is going to abduct your child. Human trafficking is a multi-billion dollar industry that involves so many people. You know, our judicial systems are so tied up in this. That's why people don't get arrested for very long. So please watch your children. I'm thankful and grateful that I have the Holy Spirit that gave me that red flag yesterday. A lot of people probably wouldn't have thought anything about it. But I did. Because I know. I have knowledge of listening to Operation Underground Railroad and A21 and IJM and all these ministries that that is what they do. They rescue children. They put their lives on the line to rescue children. You know, please protect your children. Protect them. Um, just, you know, just protect them. God wanted me to share that with you. And uh, be on the lookout for vehicles like that that can be used. Panel vans, don't, don't ever park next to a panel van. Don't ever park way out in the parking lot. And if you come out and there's something on your windshield, go back in the store because that's a big ploy they put something on your windshield and um, there's just so many ways that people can be trafficked and it's just not kids it's adults too so please be careful please be careful so I'm thankful that I'm a, thankful and grateful to be a child of God and that the Holy Spirit indwells in me and that red flag was risen I mean that guy was there for like 30 minutes I just really don't see the purpose I think he was scouting our kids is what I think he was doing and we have a lot of kids in our neighborhood we have a lot of kids in our neighborhood and every one of them are precious to me I don't know them but I see them running around and I'm so happy that they're able to run around. And I know one thing, I will protect my son with everything that I have. With everything that I have available to me, I will protect my son. And I may be overprotective, but I would rather be overprotective than not knowing where my kid is. And there are lots of parents that go to bed at night and they have no idea where their child went. So please just be aware. Be aware that there are people out there that are up to no good. And we have to, it's our job to protect our kids. You know, I've even talked to on here about making sure that your kids are not on the internet with somebody that they don't know. If they don't have a physical, know where those people are, know where they live, then please don't let them talk to them on the internet and because they are probably not who they say they are anybody can put a fake picture up anybody can make up a profile anybody can do that and it it happens all the time especially with teenagers because those people will promise them whatever they want and once they get them outside of your house, you may never see them again. Now, I don't know why I'm talking about this, because I talked about human trafficking the other night. I guess this is a follow-up. And another follow-up is there have been arrests made lately in different states. 150 kids were rescued in Michigan. So in different states, there are rescues being made. 
and how that happens a lot is the the law enforcement pose as perpetrators and catch people they pose as teenagers and catch people um, it's horrible it needs to end my prayer is that all the kids will be rescued and all the perpetrators will be in jail but it's kind of like the swamp in our government it's very vast it's very deep there are people involved that you wouldn't even think are involved and uh, anyway I'm thankful and grateful for all that I have I'm thankful and grateful for water I'm so thirsty thankful and grateful for any of you that come by and watch me rattle on and I hope that maybe um, maybe you're able to do some Bible study through what I have to say um, all right well it's time to share salvation it's time to ask some people if they want to be saved I'm thankful that we have a Savior. Very thankful. So this is um, an invitation into God's heaven. It's God's invitation because it's His heaven. It's not my heaven. I'm just uh, blessed to be able to go through the salvation of Jesus. So have you ever been invited? You know, there's a lot of people that have never had an invitation to salvation there's a lot of people that don't know who Jesus is they don't know who God is and they certainly don't know who the Holy Spirit is and you know God wants none wants absolutely none to perish he wants everyone in heaven with him so the time is now to respond to his invitation repent and turn to the one true God. So these are the scriptures that go with salvation. As it is written, there is none righteous, no not one, Romans 3.10. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. Uh, some of us are saved. <laughs> some of us are saved sinners and some of us are not, but we are all sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6, 23. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved <laughs> I have such great memories with that scripture from the promise listening to David Humphrey say that every time thou shalt be saved Romans 10 9 through 11 for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. His heaven is our reward. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Revelation 21, 2 through 3. And uh, so this is a prayer of salvation. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, then repeat this after me. Now this prayer does not save you. It is the belief in Jesus that saves you. And uh, we all need forgiveness. And so then we confess that Jesus is our Savior. So, if you will repeat after me, I will leave time for you to repeat. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for forgiveness.
I believe you are God's one and only Son. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer and you accepted Jesus into your heart, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. They're so happy. There's the, they rejoice. They rejoice when one child comes, returns. And um, your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. <clears throat> and Christianity is a journey and so in order to learn learn more about God Jesus and the Holy Spirit then um, I suggest you read his word and start in Matthew and every day pray prayer is communication with God pray to God pray to God thank him be thankful and grateful for everything and pray for other people pray for problems that you're having pray for your struggles pray for other people's struggles um, praise God praise him put on some praise music and praise him gospel praise and worship whatever you like to listen to have those good lyrics going in your mind and in your heart and there is nothing like it nothing at all and so um, this is where I uh, do a blessing from God I like to do numbers 6 24 through 26 the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. You know, God wants to, uh, he wants to bless us. And he wants to be gracious to us. But he also wants us to be obedient. And we, we must be obedient to him. All right, well, I'm going to pray, and I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go fix my son some spaghetti. I made the sauce today. Then I made the noodles a while ago. I didn't put enough water in there, so it's going to be kind of interesting. I may have to put some butter on them and heat them up. I don't, I'll make it work somehow. All right, so let's pray. God, we just come to you, and again, we are thankful and grateful for just all the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us, God. We are thankful that you will meet with us any time of the day. It doesn't matter whether it's in the morning. It doesn't matter if it's at noon. It doesn't matter if it's in the evening. You are always willing to meet with us, God. You always make us feel better and you always make us feel loved. We just pray, God, that you will help us to be more in your presence every day that you will help us to testify to the things that you've done in our lives and you will help us to encourage others 
And God, we just pray for protection. We know that evil is out there, God, so we just pray for protection. I pray for protection over every child in this city and in the surrounding cities all in, through our state and all over the world, God, I pray that they would be protected. I pray that parents will protect their children the way that you want them to. And even, God, when we protect our children, things can happen so quickly. So, God, just help us to be alert. Help us to be alert to the evil that is around us. Help us to pray on your full armor of God every day so that we can withstand the attacks of the of the uh, spiritual warfare help us god to just move forward with jesus every day help us to have the courage and have the boldness to share your truths with others and uh, your gospel the gospel of jesus help us to uh, just seek your face more and more every day and we are thankful and grateful, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, my friends, my pray and share warriors. Sorry I was late tonight. Um, I think I'll be here tomorrow night. I don't know. I may go to church. Um, I really need to get started back on Sunday nights. I noticed a while ago, though, that it was already dark at 7.30. So, I'm hoping to, uh, for the time change, maybe I'll start going then, or I may go tomorrow, I don't know. I haven't been driving at night, hardly any, because we haven't been having youth, but I've got to get, i got to get ready to start driving at night again, because I need, I feel called to help with youth. Okay, well, letters are falling on my face. There are so many letters. There are so many blessings. So have an awesome rest of your evening. And have an awesome Sunday tomorrow. I hope all of you get to go to church. We, our church is open. Walnut Springs Baptist Church. Our Sunday school starts at seven, uh, 9.30, not 7.30. 9.30 in the morning. And... Um, uh, worship starts at 11 so if you are in town and you want to join us for church then come on and if you can't make it we are online also so um, anyway God bless you all and your families abundantly and um, I forgot what else I wanted to say oh, much love and cyber hugs cyber hugs oh that's good cyber hugs because we can't hug but soon we're going to be able to see whole faces which is going to make me so happy for the people that want to show their whole face and don't want to wear a mask that's okay either way all right god bless you all and good night